1991, when the GST was brought forward, the government of Canada decided that they would exempt items that were basic groceries, uh, food products, prescription medical products. And one of the things that was overlooked was menstruation products, and it becomes, under the government sales tax, a luxury product. Products that are considered luxury products are charged GST, whereas basic essential products to Canadian life are not. So some of the things in basic groceries that are exempt or zero rated from GST include maraschino cherries, pizza pockets, chocolate chips, wedding cakes of all things, whereas other products like medical products are also exempt. So contact lenses, canes, incontinence products, but 51% of the population in Canada, menstruation products are not uh, considered an essential product, they're considered a luxury and therefore are taxed. These are products that women need uh, every month for, the, for 40 years of their life and yet they're considered something that is not essential. Why are people squeamish about periods and menstruation products? I don't know. It should be a normal conversation to have, but it is something that's private. It's something that we like to keep hidden. And for that reason, we hide menstruation products in our sleeves and in our pockets when we go to use them. And we don't tell people about it because it is a private thing that we're going through. Whereas the government has decided that this is something that is not essential, but if we didn't use them, there would be uh, probably quite a bit of public outcry about the results. When you look at women and trans communities, they're some of the most financially um, burdened communities in Canada. And when they go to the till to buy um, products that they need, including menstruation products, they're often making uh, decisions between what they can afford that month. And they have to make decisions between basic groceries and these menstruation products. There's actually been uh, a report in Winnipeg that one uh, food bank had over 6,000 requests for menstruation products and they were only able to fill 125 of them. Our next step is to get people to download and print the petition at our website, canadianmenstruators.ca. Uh, and the reason for that is that the Government of Canada doesn't accept online petitions yet. Uh, so we're really encouraging folks to download and print the petition, sign it, and send it in so that your name can be counted in the House of Parliament as wanting the government to remove this discriminatory tax. We've already had a lot of success so far. We've talked about periods in the Canadian media for the last month. We hope that by tabling the bill in the House of Commons that we'll be able to bring forward the Private Members Act to remove the GST on menstruation products because this is an important issue. It's got a ton of support and it's an opportunity to talk about women and trans communities in the House of Parliament.